Yeah. Just, um, I'm gonna go back to the emotion, obviously, at the beginning. I mean, uh, how were you guys able to move on from that? Because I just know that it, you know, especially at first, that, that was a, a, a big uh, factor. Uh, so. Um, I think it was definitely a high emotion game. I know there was a lot with like the new coach coming in and all the coaches were exciting. So um, we had a lot of emotion going in. And then one big thing that we said in the locker room after, like we protect our own. Um, like if someone was coming after one of our teammates, we're all gonna raise our energy and use that as kind of a fire to like take us through the rest of the game. Yeah, kind of like what Lana said, I'll definitely just say it was just fuel to the fire kind of thing. Like, it just got us going more. And like she said, it was just protect our own, like protect our house kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, was any of that able to fuel your start to the game? I mean, have you ever had a quarter like that? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I was just, uh, I was excited to play, you know, uh, those were my former teammates and everything from SFA. So I was just excited, you know, to get out there, you know, put on the show kind of thing. It took a while for, um, I guess, Lana to get going, you guys to kind of expand that lead beyond, uh, I think, 15 for a while was the thing, but they really started to go to you, Lana, and, and you pressed that advantage. What, what did it take for you to kind of get into the game the way you guys, the way you did in the second half? Um, I think the biggest thing that just holds me back is my foul trouble. A lot of the times, I'm just like the bigger person. It's pretty easy to call fouls on me, so I need to do a better job of kind of making sure that I'm nowhere near looking like a foul or anything, because sometimes it won't be, and I just get the calls. But um, being able to kind of reflect on it, know what I need to do differently, and then to also just be able to see what my team needed. Being able to come in second half, I really knew what I needed to do. I saw how they were guarding the post, and it gave me the ability to kind of run it up in the second half well. Destiny, what's it, what did it mean you have a double-double with, with all those rebounds? Um, I mean, it was it was fun. I was just out there having fun, you know. Every day I try to, <clears throat> every night I try to just come out and have fun with my teammates. Uh, you know, just always be available where they need me, kind of thing. I was just trying to be everywhere. Over there. I mean, we look at your size and we don't think rebounds is going to be a major part of your game. So why why are you kind of thriving in the rebounding area here? I mean, today it wasn't boxing me out, so just go ahead and pursue the ball. I mean, yeah, they wasn't really boxing me out, so I just felt like, you know, I had to go help the bigs, you know, they fighting down low, and I wasn't getting boxed out, so it was on me, you know, go pursue the ball and get rebounds. Lana, well, just ha the, the progress of dealing with the foul trouble and knowing when to foul, when not to foul, kind of where are you at in that stage and that growth and how much... Is it probably going to be a season-long process for you to kind of figure all that out? Yeah, I think definitely I always want to try to stay out of foul trouble. That's kind of like the biggest thing that's holding me back and limiting my minutes so far. Um, but obviously I think it's a learning curve, just learning how to use my body better, how to get position, how not to move my arms down or like move my feet, stuff like that. Um, but sometimes fouls are just inevitable. Like, like I said earlier, I'm kind of just a big... I'm a big person, it's pretty easy to get the call fouls on. So, I mean, sometimes it's gonna happen, but just knowing how to play smarter when I do pick up like one or two early on, like how to play smarter out of that. Um, and I think the more the season goes on, the better I'll get at that. How do you not let, let it affect your game in the way that you want, the way that you want to play and need to play? Yeah, so after those first two that I had um, in the first quarter, I kind of knew, I mean, those were calls that I can't really do anything about. That's just how the game goes sometimes. So I just knew I had to play my game. We couldn't let outside factors affect how I wanted to play. Destiny, you guys are going to hit the road to go to Florida. Uh, first time flying away from Mackey Arena. What what challenges do you, uh, you, do you perceive there? And how much are you looking forward to kind of getting out on the road a little bit and see what this team can do? Right. Uh, you know, first time being on the road, I mean, it would be a neutral court for each team kind of thing, but uh, I just feel like it would be exciting, you know, for us to finally have that first road game and travel, kind of see how, like, you know, we play outside of Mackey uh, without being in this atmosphere with all, the, with all of the fans and everything here at home. But, yeah, it would definitely be exciting. It would be a fun road trip. Uh, but like Coach said, it would be a business trip, you know, so we're going on down there, you know, locked in, dialed in, ready to win games. All right, talk. Talk to us a little bit about the hook shot. I mean, those are not easy buckets, and you were hitting them left and right, both hands. I mean, how did you develop that skill set, and uh, what do you feel like 
the game was maybe going to you know go to that repertoire of shots. Yeah, that's kind of a shot I've been working on ever since I started really like refining my post skills. I remember I had this one post coach. I started working on it, working with. Whoa, sorry. Uh, I started working with her when I was probably in like sixth or seventh grade, and she really like honed in on working on the hook shots because it's really an unguardable shot if you can really like nail it. Um, so they were doubling from the baseline, which was leaving the middle open. So I was kind of able to get into that shot pretty easy. And then it's really just trying to find that right balance, not too hard off the glass, not too soft, so it's short. Um, but I've been working on it a long time, so I think that can work kind of paid off tonight. Were you like watching YouTube videos of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or, or, or something? Yeah, early on I had a coach tell me um, to look him up and definitely got some inspiration from him. Awesome. Um, Destiny, I mean, the relentless pursuit of the basketball. I mean, that, those 13 rebounds. Um, you mentioned that you weren't boxing out, but still, what is it that you see that allows you to be in position to know the angles to take to, to get to, to the appropriate spot? Right. Uh, I mean, I feel like, you know, when our bigs are actually being boxed out down low, I just feel like it's an opportunity for me to go in and crash in. You know, when they're creating space, it allows, you know, an open floor for me to go in and pursue the ball. So, I mean, uh, I just go in and crash. Like, you know, when I see the ball like, coming out, it's like, yeah, go ahead and get it. You know, rebounds are for anybody, you know. Uh, it's nobody's ball, so I just go in and I pursue the basketball. For sure. Um, defensively, you know, has is going to be you know talked about all all year long. But what do you feel like you know your team was doing today to you know really get get the turnovers, get out in in transition, and speed the game up, especially in the third quarter? Right. Uh, we honed in and we was just sitting in gaps. You know, we was we wasn't allowing them you know to get downhill. We were forcing them to shoot outside shots. So I felt that that defense led us into our offense. I recently now looking ahead. You have Middle Tennessee State and uh, in South Carolina coming up. Um, what do you feel like is just going to be the the determining factor to make that road trip successful? You feel like uh, it'll definitely be our defense. You know, locking in, down in, following the scouting report. You know, following the plan that Coach KG has for us, and just dialing in on defense for both of these teams. <clears throat> Just, um, you know, I'd ask her about if she was in there with Sophie, kind of um, with the start she had and then you know, getting it going at the end. But I mean, uh, Destiny, your guard, um, just what does she need to do or maybe, you know, what she do today that let her get out of that and um, you, know, you see her in practice? And, you know, so. Right. Uh, today, her defense, yeah. I feel like Sophie's in passing lanes today towards, like, the second half. You know, uh, she got a couple steals that laid her in transition. And just her three-point shot in general, like, once soap is on, she's on. She's always hot. She's always hot, as you know, but when she's on, she's an uh, unguardable kind of thing. And then just the preparation you guys had on defense. And the radio broadcast said that uh, Mark Stevens was calling out plays on the sidelines, their plays on the sidelines. Um, did you guys feel extra prepared? I mean, the 10 steals obviously points to, points to some of that. Yeah, I feel like we was definitely prepared today. You know, we knew a lot of their play calls. We were, like, calling them out to each other, like, you know, like, to be in rotation kind of thing, seeing the gaps or, like, being our defensive, uh, defensive uh, stands and stuff like that. No, even uh, uh, working with with Rashida, you know, defensively, she she fouled out today. What's something that you know you're gonna be able to maybe look with her at, at film to kind of eliminate, you know, some some of those mistakes she was making, you know, drawing contact and uh, look like look like some some off the ball. Right. Uh, I just felt like some of them. Uh, she was just in the wrong position kind of thing like but uh shonda defensively i just feel like they they got her today with like a lot of body calls kind of thing just you know uh just being in a position where like you can't get the body call you know just walling up kind of thing not allowing players you know to draw the contact onto you but i feel like yeah she was being aggressive to, tonight today sorry but uh she's had to be like in a good position where they can't like draw fouls on her kind of thing thank you thank you, thank you.